Before we get into looking at the equations and the graphs uh, concerning acceleration, I wanted to talk briefly about the concept of acceleration. And kind of the simplest, most straightforward description of acceleration is when your velocity is changing. So if we have a changing velocity, we are accelerating. Now, if you remember, velocity includes two pieces of information, right? both the speed and the direction of your motion. So if either of these things are changing, you are accelerating. Even if you're going at a constant speed, if you're turning, driving around in a circle or something, then you are accelerating. Now most of the problems we're going to focus on just involve changing speed, not so much changing direction. Occasionally we'll come across that and mention that that's acceleration, but mostly we're concerned with whether or not you are speeding up or slowing down. Uh, technically, acceleration is not just a changing velocity, but it's the rate of change of velocity. So, mathematically, that's going to be delta v, change in velocity, final minus initial, over t, where you could write a delta t, but typically we take your initial time to be zero, so t is just understood to be the final time. So here is kind of your most straightforward definition. I said we weren't going to look at equations, but we'll look at this one. Uh, there are others for finding and relating acceleration to velocities and displacements. Um, another thing, since velocity can be positive or negative, your change in velocity can be positive or negative, and so you can have positive or negative acceleration. And we typically shy away from using the terms acceleration and deceleration uh, in physics. We like to talk about positive or negative acceleration. Uh, it's just a little more uh, precise when you're talking about uh, the direction because positive and negative acceleration doesn't necessarily mean speeding up or slowing down it just means accelerating in the positive direction or accelerating in the negative direction and those can both be speeding up or slowing down depending on which way you're moving so if you're moving in the positive direction going this way your velocity is that way and your acceleration is positive then you will be speeding up and if it's negative you'll be slowing down but if you're moving in the other direction, so you've got a negative velocity, a negative acceleration would mean that you're speeding up and a positive would mean you're slowing down. So the convention is if the signs GN, if the signs are the same between velocity and acceleration then you are speeding up and if the signs are opposite then obviously you are slowing down. Okay, the last thing I want to mention about acceleration is it has some interesting conceptual uh, implications. We already discussed how when you're moving at a constant velocity, you can't really feel that. So if you're driving in a car that's got cruise control on and it's a nice smooth ride, uh, you can't really feel that. Now normally there will be a little bit of vibrations, a little bit of bumps, but if you create this kind of ideal situation just cruising off uh, through space or something, you couldn't feel at all that you were moving. Um, and in fact, there's no instrument that could measure whether or not you were moving. And I think we mentioned that you know the Earth is traveling, you are moving close to 1,000 miles an hour, and the Earth is flying through space at 66,000 miles an hour around the sun and all these things. You can't feel those. Uh, that is not the case with acceleration. Acceleration is something that you can always feel. And it's not just a perception thing. Uh, we can detect it. You can have accelerometers that can tell you whether or not you are accelerating. Uh, so this is kind of a, a startling conclusion for physicists. Why is it that we can fundamentally tell when something's accelerating and when something is not? but we can't tell when something is moving and when something's not without comparing it to other objects. And we'll discuss that maybe a little more in class.